Welcome back to our look into preventing the fatal four construction hazards, which account for more than half of all construction fatalities. I'm Nick Walters, Vice President of Safety Engineering Services at SCT. If you missed last week's video, we discussed electrical hazards, so be sure to get caught up. Today, let's talk about two of the other fatal four that are closely related, struck by object and caught in between. Together, they account for more than 16% of all construction fatalities in 2015. Most struck by hazards come from one of three categories, vehicles, falling or flying objects, and building masonry walls. About 75% of struck by fatalities involve heavy equipment, such as cranes and trucks. To avoid vehicle-related struck by incidents, inspect vehicles before each shift, only use vehicles on roadways and grades that are safely maintained, and do not exceed a vehicle's rated load or lift capacity. Workers also need to be aware of the public as well. If working near a public road, use all necessary traffic signs, barricades, or flaggers. Falling or flying objects have a number of sources, including cranes, hoists, and power tools. PPE such as hard hats and goggles offer good protection, but engineering solutions are more effective at avoiding debris. Avoid working underneath loads being moved or unsupported loads and barricade dangerous hazardous areas and post warning signs. Construction masonry walls also come with major risks, especially when jacks and lifting equipment are used to position slabs and walls. Do not place construction loads on a concrete wall until a qualified person has inspected it properly. Short or brace structures until permanent support is in place and only allow those essential to the construction to be in the area. As for caught in between hazards, excavation issues cause the most injuries. In fact, according to OSHA, excavation workers are twice as likely to be killed as construction workers performing other jobs. Don't take any shortcuts when completing excavation work. Make sure all excavation projects are overseen by a competent person who can recognize hazards and has the authority to take action and fix the problems. The competent person must also determine the soil type before anyone goes into the trench. If the trench is between 5 and 20 feet deep, a safety method must be used, either sloping, a trench box, or shoring. If it's deeper than 20 feet, then a professional engineer must design the worker protection system. At SCT, we offer an excavation competent person training course. By completing this eight-hour course, workers will be able to create and maintain a safe, OSHA-compliant environment for trenching and excavation workers. Join us next week as we wrap up our look at the construction industry's fatal four. Thanks for watching.